I'm Paula Wethington from the Monroe Evening News and Monroe on a Budget, and I'm with Chris Ketke from Relish Magazine. He's one of the chefs that is involved with the national tour, and we are hosting the show that was in Monroe, Michigan on Thursday, April 5th. In preparation for the show, Chris gave an invitation-only demonstration about farmer's cheese, and I wanted him to tell, talk a little bit about himself. Well, thank you. Yeah, we just finished doing this demonstration here, and it was uh, it was a blast. And it's great being here in Monroe, Michigan. So we have this great show planned uh, for tomorrow night where people are going to be, well, we're going to have a lot of fun, and we're going to learn a lot about all different kinds of recipes that you can make in advance for the week, turn them into different recipes. We're going to pull in some ethnicities. And, you know, we're also going to do what I like to do, you know, as as a professional chef and also a culinary instructor, I'm also in the, uh, the vice president at Kendall College in Chicago. We teach our students all about how to hold a knife right and chop things properly. And so we're going to take that professional education and bring it to everybody because when you learn those things, you know what? You are just that much better of a cook and it's that much more fun mm -hmm. to cook mm -hmm. yeah. and make things like farmer's cheese where you save some money. You really did because um, one of your staff members was asking me how much is milk these days in Monroe. In Monroe, it's a two fifty for a gallon of milk. And then we were trying to think, okay, what would if we bought this pound of cheese, how much would it cost? It's more than two fifty. It's more than two fifty when we were trying to think what it was. So yeah, he gave us a, a great budget friendly recipe, and I hope you all will enjoy either the show or if you don't get a chance to see the show, do look up some of the recipes. I've made some, and they're easy. Okay, thanks very much. I'm going to walk out here a little bit. Is that, is that going to be okay for you? Sure. <laughs> or should I stay back? I, I, I have this thing about being way over here and you're all over here. So, and, and periodically I'm going to bring out some things for, for you to see. Because some of what I'm doing is really cool if you're me standing here looking at it. But for those of you back there, it's not going to be so cool. So I'm going to bring it out to you, which is going to totally screw you guys up. So, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, my name is Chris Kepke. And uh, as you know, I believe, tomorrow I'll be doing this wonderful event here uh, in Monroe. And this is my first time in Monroe, actually. I just drove in last night at about midnight, and it was dark. So it was nice to wake up and actually see what I didn't see last night. Exactly what it is. Because it's, it's actually the first step in making cheese. So we're going to get to that in a second. We don't actually bring it up to a boil. We bring it to the point where it's, it's, it's steamy, hot, 175, 180. Now, if it comes to a boil, you know, if you're like me, you get distracted, and all of a sudden, you're, you, know, you see it sort of going up in the pot, it's okay. Just let it cool off a little bit, and you can still work with it. It's not like it's ruined, okay? It, who said it? <laughs> you are like so ahead of me. <laughs> That's right, you see the curds in the way. So what just happened is, this is so cool to watch. What just happened is, I added the acid. What the acid does is it's working on the proteins in the milk. And it's causing them to coagulate. Now that's like food science speak for becoming solid. Now what happens is, is when those proteins become solid, that's your curds. So little Miss Muffet was eating the curds in the way was like this. And in other words, the curd is the solid part that we're creating right now. And the way, which you're going to see in just a little bit, is like water. So what I'm doing by adding that vinegar in, what I'm doing is I'm solidifying the milk. I'm taking all those proteins, most of the, pro most of the proteins, the majority of the proteins, and I'm, I'm making them into little chunks. You want to see what it looks like? This is amazing. It's so fast. And by the way, this is cool. This is also great for kids. This is an excellent thing for kids. Just look inside here. This is, see what just happened? Now, if you opened up your refrigerator and you saw this inside your refrigerator, <laughs> you can't do it right now. But if I were to take this and really start to squeeze this, sort of give it some nice little twists like this and give it and squeeze it, ooh, that's hot. And squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it some more. Then put it in the fridge and let it sort of flatten it out and let it be it will continue to drip. What happens then, and this is the magic of this, is that those curds, 
they kind of stick together. They will stick together to the point where you can actually slice it into pieces. You could put it on top of a pizza if you wanted to. And there's a million different things that you can do with it. And again, you know, you could send your kids to school with, you know, <clears throat> cheese that mom made at home. <clears throat> which is really gorgeous. And then we're just going to sort of do a couple other things quickly. A little bit of uh, rosemary. Just peel those leaves off of the stem. Stem's a little tough. I don't want the stem of the rosemary. And in fact, rosemary is a really intensely uh, textured herb. So you really want to mince the daylights out of it. So let me do that real quick. We left something out in that recipe. Aha. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> well, thank you again so much.